Everybody knows who the Omni King is, however, the extent of that goes about as far as we know that he's very powerful and he acts like a child. When you look at all of the other gods in Dragon Ball Z, they all coexist in an ecosystem that is the god hierarchy, even down to the north, south, east and west Kais. If the Supreme Kai is killed, then the God of Destruction will also be killed, and vice versa. Then Whis, or any angel, will also be not killed, but severely weakened. It's an entire ecosystem that fits together and works within itself. But at the very top of that, we have Zeno. And he does look out of place because he has no relation to anyone. If he wants to, he can wipe out anyone, even the angels, and he would not be affected at all. Has he ever done that? I mean instantly destroy an entire universe! Oh yes! For some reason, this little child is at the top of this powerhouse of a franchise. Each god's role is defined and has a strict purpose, and for the most part, they're all pretty serious. There's no one who acts like the Omni King who are among the gods. Even the most intimidating gods like Beerus crumble before the Omni King. The strongest thing we've ever seen Zeno do is wipe out a multiverse. It only took a few seconds for him to do, and when he finished, the entire multiverse was gone. The only thing left in it was him floating around. Now, they make a point to say when Zeno kills, it's not actually killing. It's erasing. You see a little flicker and then gone. The fact is, we used to have 18 universes instead of only 12. It's completely insane, so we just wiped out the other six. Along with that, Zeno also doesn't know how to fight. He has all the power in the world, but he doesn't know how to actually fight. So you can assume that he's never really killed anyone in a one-on-one -on -one fight because he doesn't even know how to do it. The idea is that Zeno's entire character and power is based on us, the audience. Zeno acts like he's never seen a fight before, exactly how Toei would want the audience to react, being absolutely thrilled with everything that's happening on screen. The saying goes, we all feel like little kids again watching Dragon Ball Super, and that's exactly how Zeno acts. When it comes to the power, this is where it gets meta. The audience has all the power, whether we continue to watch, or whether we don't. If we don't watch, that is the real life version of the Dragon Ball universe getting erased. If you go by this idea, Zeno isn't just multiversal, but interdimensional. He controls what he wants to see. The Omni King could shut down the whole series if he wanted, and who knows, maybe 20 years ago that's what happened. That's how powerful he is. He is a representation of the audience, and that's why we won't see anyone stronger than him for a long time. Gran Zeno is not a fighter, Goku, but without a doubt he is the mightiest. You simply couldn't fathom his power. Since Zeno has never been in a fight, but he has all of this power, how would he go in a martial arts fight against, let's say, the Grand Priest? Without his destructive power, he would be actually pretty hopeless. One of the most interesting things about the Omni King is the fact that he is so powerful, but he is so intrigued by a simple fight, acting like he's never been in a fight himself. This gives the impression that if you stripped him of all of his destructive power and set him up in a fight against anyone, he would go from being at the very top of the god hierarchy all the way down to one of the weakest characters in the series. The discrepancy between his power and fighting skills is that big. So that is the strength of the Omni King in universe. The more time goes on, the more we'll learn about Xeno, but for right now, there is a character in series that has just about as much power as the actual real life audience. Take away his power though, and he becomes one of the weakest characters in existence. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.